from mastering jujitsu to firing tactical weapons and even riding a horse sideways, Keanu Reeves trained like an assassin for John Wick. Things got brutal for actors on and off camera. Some suffered broken ribs, and some even got their ear partially cut off. Here's how intense the John Wick boot camp can get. Welcome to Explain. Keanu Reeves is an absolute legend when it comes to doing his own stunts. From jumping out of a Jaguar onto a speeding bus in speed, to leaping off of a 43-story skyscraper in The Matrix, he's willing to train and do almost anything for a film. But the intense training regime for John Wick was unlike anything he'd done before, and it lasted three to eight months for each film. So how far did they push it for chapter four? Let's break down the John Wick boot camp, starting with the martial arts training. The director, Chad Stahelski, wanted long action takes instead of quick, shaky cuts and trick photography. So Keanu trained like a real stuntman with 8711. Obviously, this was pretty physically demanding for a man in his 50s. So to build stamina, his training got more and more intense for each movie. Yeah, I mean, I'm older, so it's harder. Show off. And you have more technique, so that helps keep balancing it out. The age is winning, of course, but techniques are helping me get by. The more I can do and the more confidence that Chad and the stunt team have in me, then they go, okay, now let's give him some more responsibility. Oh, you can do that? Oh, cool. Okay, well, what about that? Ah, shoot, I can't quite do that. Train him. Keanu already knew martial arts and could get out of locks and counterattacks. So they built on these skills and added judo and jujitsu to his fighting style. For chapter two, he trained with the Machado brothers and learned 15 new judo and jujitsu moves. And fun fact, he got so good at it that the International Judo Federation presented him with an honorary black belt. What we did with Keanu, I start to see his knowledge. He's already very sharp in techniques, and we start trying to improve the transitions. And like somebody come on top of him, he escape quick and go, grab the neck, boom, break. Every position he know how to escape, how to set up, how to counterattack, and how to do the submission. In chapter three, Keanu trained for six months and they taught him moves from other fighting styles like karate, sambo, and even kali. His co-star Halle Berry was also put through the grind, and they got so fierce at one point, she even broke a few ribs while training. In chapter four, they pushed him even further by adding nunchucks to the mix. Next came the crazy firearms training. John Wick's gone from using just a gun in chapter one to using a combination of knives, nunchucks, and guns all at the same time in the rest of the films. But using a variety of firearms with ruthless efficiency meant he had to learn from the best. So tactical firearms training began with Aaron Cohen, who's also an Israeli special operations trained soldier. They focused on how to use a carbine with room penetration techniques and tactics with a Cherry's Deep Concealment Holster. Up! 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 Reset. Keanu learned to spy rooms, do reloads, transition seamlessly from weapon to weapon, and even Good. footwork that had a John Wick style to it. Last quarter, take quarter hit, all the way, all the way, commit. Good, half step in the room. Then they upped his game and sent him to train with multi-gun shooting champion Taron Butler. Well, every movie we've uh, progressed, so in John Wick 2, he's quad loading the shotgun underneath four rounds at a time like this. Uh, the old school, uh, you know, we can't load. Next one, he's quad loading like this and progressed with that. Then in the, in the latest one, we're like, this may be the last movie where nobody knows, but let's go with the ultimate weapon for that. So we picked this Genesis shotgun or it's just complete destruction <laughs> of, you know, and he's already knows how to load a, a platform like that. So he's just doing it faster and, and better. Keanu literally went from handling a Glock 34 to using guns that got bigger and bigger. Have a look at him in beast mode.
Then came the fight choreography. The martial arts and firearm training was brought together with what they call gun fu. Fight choreography is kind of like a dance and has a flow to it. But the fighting styles of Keanu's co-stars were very different from his. For example, Ruby Rose was a boxer, so her fight choreography was adapted to that. Halle Berry's style was based on a woman of her height taking down a six and a half foot man. I had to learn to fight one like Keanu and I had to learn to fight with him in very close proximity. They're very much a team. This is just hard as shit. <laughs> but it's also a lot of fun and I have a great team of people that are teaching me and training me. In chapter four, Rina Sawayama's fight style had her using knives and a bow and arrow in action scenes. Ready and action. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. And Danny Yen's was a mixture of Tai Chi, kickboxing, and a whole lot of others. Eighty-seven Eleven had to work on blending their styles together. So first, they fake fought with each other a lot to find a natural flow. And Keanu got so sharp, he was able to improvise and adapt on set if things ever changed. After this came training with animals. Keanu actually learned how to ride with stuntman and horse master Tad Griffith. But ordinary riding was too easy for him. So they taught him trick riding. By the end of it, he was able to hang onto the side of a horse, recover into a riding position at a high speed, and move from one side to the other quickly. John Wick 3 was even more brutal than John Wick 2 because now you're adding horses, riding horses, hanging off, shooting underneath the horse. He came out one time with his whole flap of his hand cut open from the horn, like he opened it up and it was just this tape on it. And he's got like quad load shotguns, there's videos out there. Oh, you see him, his whole hand is wrapped, doing all of his reloads, MPX, everything. He just, he knows he's, he just, he's putting the time in, he knows he's got to put the work in, but no one puts the work in like he does. So once they got to the streets of Brooklyn, Keanu rode and fought like a natural. The idea was how can I do these tricks and be safe? So Scott developed this idea of movie truck, some girders, and we'll pick you, and we'll do wire work on a horse. And Chad will sit on the top of this thing on a perch, and he'll guide the horses, and then you'll ride in this contraption. He even made riding in the desert in Chapter 4 look like a walk in the park. His co-stars, on the other hand, worked with attack dogs for Chapter 3 and 4. Get what? Where? These Belgian Malinois were smart, strong, and agile. They could climb vertical walls, dive, punch you with their nose, and were raised from birth and trained specifically for the movie. But the handlers couldn't be everywhere on set, so they taught Holly Berry how to train the dogs herself. And this made them believe she was their master on set. That was built, and there were five of them. I could command them just like the trainers could command them. So I would spend four days a week out there with the dogs, two, three hours a day, and I would just go through the drills with them just like the trainers. As the trainers were learning who they were, I was learning who they were. They're ferocious looking, and they're doing some amazing stunts, but they're also really sweet. So I get a certain amount of time to just love on them and play with them, and then I have another set of time where I work with training them. The thing with dogs in movies is they don't act. They attack for real. So they had to make sure the dogs knew exactly where to bite the stuntmen so no one would get hurt. For this, they brought an animal expert, Andrew Simpson, who worked with the wolves in Game of Thrones. The dogs were trained to target green tugs. And then they slowly familiarized the dogs with the stuntmen and action for each scene. Finally came the car chase training. Keanu isn't a stranger to high-speed bike and car chases. And while the extremely dangerous stunts were done by expert Jeremy Fry, Keanu did pick up a ton of insane driving skills from him. For the first few films, he learned maneuvers choreographed for the chase scene, like hairpin and 360 turns, and a few drifting techniques. But for chapter four, they upped his game. He could do 45 and 90 degree drifts, a reverse 180, and he could shoot and reload his gun at the same time. And considering how comfortable he is behind the wheel, 
It didn't take him long to master this either. If you're wondering what his bike training was in Chapter 3, we hate to break it to you, but the actual fight was choreographed and filmed with a green screen. But they did film the rest of the chase on the bridge with the stunt team. What's your favorite fight scene or chase scene in John Wick Chapter 4? Tell us about it in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Explain.